This is all I got. This is all I got. Save or splurge, where I tell you what product is worth the splurge or if you should save your money. Yes, this is so worth it. I think you could save your money on this one. Love, love, love this. Absolutely get it. Heck yes, this is a great one. Eh, not sure if this one's worth the cash. Uh, yes, I'll pretty much always repurchase this product. If you have a $100 budget at Sephora, do not spend the entire amount on one product. Let me show you how you can make the most out of it. The best money-saving hack is to go to the Minis and More section, and there's so many amazing deals. The one that specifically caught my eye was this Bum Bum set, because look at all that's in there. Now, if you're looking for a dupe for the Huda Beauty powder that is well-known, this Sephora collection one is literally a spot-on dupe. And if you want the most glass-like skin you've ever seen, this mini glowy super gel from Say is absolutely so worth it, and it lasts me forever. I can't believe we still have $39 left, so we're going to run over to the Tower 28 section and pick up one of their blushes. They literally make your skin look so healthy and glowy and this pink one caught my eye and if you're looking for a mascara that will give you endless compliments this mini rare beauty one is so worth it for those last 10 bucks we're heading right over to sephora collection because these glosses are so slept on just look at that insane shimmer for only 10 bucks and that is how you do it y'all i can't believe we got so many amazing products for just a hundred dollars <laughs> Hi guys, I have a Sephora haul. I know I literally just went last week, but I missed some stuff. I had to go again and I got some really good stuff. First off, if you saw my skincare routine, I'm obsessed with this cleanser. So I just got the refill version and I'm just going to use it from here. I feel like this is going to like last me a year. Next, what are you doing if you haven't gotten this yet? Like it's actually the prettiest Sol de Janeiro scent ever. My friend got it too. She said her boyfriend is so obsessed with it. I don't have a boyfriend or anything close to that. But like, I can tell you that it smells good. I will be buying the mini, I will be buying the cream. I hope they make like everything because this is the prettiest Sol de Janeiro scent by far. I love it. Must get it, like have to get it. Next, I got this Polish Choice skincare set. Love Polish Choice, they just cleared up my skin so much. Next, I got this Ilia blush for my mom. This color is gonna look so pretty on her and she loves this stuff. Next, the iconic London setting spray. This stuff's the best. I used it today and my makeup like has stayed on all day. Look how pretty it is. I promised I would never move on from this stuff, but this stuff is amazing. Follow from her haul. Let's organize my 11 year old's makeup and skincare. This weekend, she has a dance competition, so I wanted to go through her makeup to make sure she has everything that she needs. Good thing I checked because she's all out of eyeliner, setting powder, makeup wipes, and her purple lipstick, and that's super important, especially this weekend. 
One of her dances is themed after Wednesday, so her makeup this weekend is a lot darker than it usually is, and the purple lipstick is definitely a must. Honestly, I don't want her to get in trouble by her coach, and I don't want to either, so I guess I'm going to be making a trip to Ulta later today. I remember a few years ago, I forgot to pack her makeup bag in her dance bag and had to run to Target right before competition started to get her everything she needed for a full face. And I couldn't just come home and grab her makeup bag and then go back to the competition because we were out of state and I never would have made it in time. So that was a stress I never want to have again. So I make sure to pack her bag the night before and I double and triple check that we have anything and everything that she will need. Follow along this weekend to see how her competition goes and where she places. My 11 year old got all A's on her progress report this semester, so I told her let's go to Ulta to celebrate. This is the first time I'm letting her walk around the store and pick out whatever it is she wants, and she had no budget, so let's see all of the things that she picked out. She loves this skincare brand, and this is actually a really good moisturizer. She said these are better than the Starface ones because the Starface ones were not working for her. We love these hand sanitizers. They're honestly $10 a piece and expensive, but they really do fit anywhere. She wanted to try foundation, but I told her, let's try this instead. And then we also found the camo liquid blush that we've been looking for forever. So she grabbed one of those. I don't know why she grabbed this at all. This takes me back to high school. She did need a new concealer because I swear she uses hers as foundation. And then she also wanted to try this lip oil out. We try out all of them. She originally wanted super goop, but she saw it was like over $40. So she grabbed the elf one instead. And this is strictly for her acne. But we also decided to buy this so that we can mix it into our foundations to get our perfect shade. $150 full face of milk. I think this might be a hard one, but I'm up for a challenge. Let's see what we can do. Basket is secured. We have to start with the Hydro Grip Primer. But to save some money, we're going with the mini. One of my favorite things to do right now is use concealer all over my face and no foundation. I have to use less product and less product on my face, the better. And their new all over concealer works perfect for this. Their new sculpt stick is a bomb ass contour. I know it looks ridiculously small, but you don't need that much product. This will last you. They don't have my shade, but I use toasted. I just realized I haven't been looking at any of the prices and I'm gonna keep going with that. So it's gonna be a surprise at the end for me too if we meet the challenge. Going to go with the Bionic Blush, Kush Mascara. Milk does a good job of providing a ton of mini options. And if you have a ton of makeup, you don't need full size all the time. I really do like their lash primer. You guys might get mad at me for this one, but I'm skipping eyeliner because right now I have not been wearing eyeliner, just mascara. Setting spray, again, a mini. This is the only lip product they have here. I think I'm done. I know you guys will tell me what I'm missing. And the grand total for it all. Sephora haul. So the first thing I got was the Sol de Janeiro scent in 40 and I got the minis in both. And I took my lash extensions off and I now just do mascara. So I got another grande lash because it works so well. And then they have the grande lash mascara that has like it infused. I got that and I've never tried it before. So then I got the Too Faced uh, lip injection. They have the lip liner now and I've been wanting this then I got two of the Rare Beauty blushes. I got Bliss and Love. Then I got two things from Hourglass. I got this foundation brush. 
And then I got the Hourglass Primer. And I've heard it's really good, so I'm excited to try it out. Then I got the YSL, like, candy glaze thing. I've seen this everywhere on TikTok, and it's so pretty. And this is the color I got. This is probably, like, one of my favorite things I just got. Then, this is new from Glow Recipe. I wasn't even sure how to open this. It's kind of like the Laneige lip mask. It's just their little lip mask. It smells good. And then lastly, I got the Glossier um, lip balm in lavender. Let's do a Sephora sale haul. So this is what I got in store, but I'm gonna have to make an online order for what was out of stock. First thing I got was this Super Goop sunscreen. This was only available in the US before, but now it's in Canada. It's supposed to be a watery lotion and I hate it when sunscreen is thick. Okay, next is this Day Hibiscus Wave Spray. For once, I bought something that I wasn't influenced to buy. I just saw it and I thought it'd be really good to try after the beach and it literally smells so good. Okay, I definitely did not need this. I have like a million blushes, but I really, really wanted to try this. It's the Merit one, and I got the shade Beverly Hills. I was stuck between this one and Stockholm, but my friend told me this one would look better on me. Wait until you guys see these. Rare Beauty came out with a mini of their highlighter. I thought these would be perfect for travel. Got a shade I've never had before. It's Enchant. This is the size difference. It's insane, but this is the difference between Enchant and Mesmerize. This is Enlighten, and I always, always use it. So those are going straight in my makeup bag. Next, I really needed a new beauty blender and look at this color only after i bought it did i realize it was color changing i'm gonna go wet this and we're gonna see what color it is i fully wet it i can't is this a scam i don't know <laughs> did it change color and i'm just blind either way i love this color it's the best brand for beauty blenders and this is my crusty old one okay last thing i got i wanted to get a mini tower 28 so i could keep it in my bag and i can refill it for traveling so yeah that's what i got in store but i'm probably gonna place an order so i'll do an unboxing bye guys Purchaser Pass Lip Products, the e.l.f. Lip Oil. Literally, my favorite gloss that I own, and it's the cheapest. e.l.f. never misses. This product is so good. I'm obsessed with it. 100% purchase. I think we all agree on this one. They're just so lip oil, or however you pronounce it. It smells, tastes, feels like cooking oil, and it doesn't last at all. Pass. I will always repurchase my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This makes my lips so hydrated, so glossy, and it smells so good. Purchase. The Say Lip Gloss, in my opinion, could be a purchase or a pass. There's a lot of pretty shades, and it looks really nice on the lips. However, I don't like the applicator. It's just, like, kind of fuzzy. I don't know how to describe it. And its scent is, like, expired. Like, it smells like the play makeup we used to have when we were, like, five years old. I don't know. For me, it's a pass. Could be a purchase for you. The Dior lip oil is a pass for me. I feel like it's just so overpriced for what you're getting. And if you were listening at the beginning of the video and you know it's good for you in your wallet, this is literally the same thing, but 10 times better. I love the Glossier lip gloss. It is so long lasting and so pretty on the lips and it's more towards the cheaper side, so I've definitely purchased. I love the Clarence lip oil. I love how big the applicator is. I love the color. I love the scent. I love how it looks on my lips. The only thing is it's not long lasting. So will I be repurchasing a lip product that doesn't really last? Probably not. I like the YSL Candy Glaze. I think it looks so good on the lips. I feel like it does take a good couple layers to get a good amount of glossiness to your lips. And I like my lips looking really juicy, so I'd probably say this is a pass. Let me know if you want a part two. Bye, guys. Girls try snatching these viral products out of my hands. You guys are gonna be shocked when I tell you what I got. Starting with Summer Fridays lip balm. I wanted the birthday lip balm so bad, but they only had it online. And these were selling out too. Vanilla beige, vanilla, and the cherry. Power 28 softies were completely out. Only one left was this clear one. Kind of reminds me of Carmax. I'm gonna save the biggest thing for later, but then I got this Dior highlighter in this pretty pink shade. I got the Dior lip oil, also pink, and also the Dior powder. This is so beautiful. Wow. And the newest Kosas tinted gel cream. I love tinted things. Let's see. This is so cool. It feels so good. Love how the texture is not thick at all. Almost done with the first bag. Also got this Patrick Ta pink blush. This was actually sold out a long time in the shade she's giving. I've been loving Urban Decay. Their setting sprays are so good. 
This is their OG All Nighter one. This is the Extra Glow setting spray. And I also got their primer, Ultra Glow Face Primer. Second bag, I don't think you guys understand what is in that bag. New House Labs Lip Glazes is in the shade Macaroon. So cute. Oh, then this one is brown shade. And I think this is my favorite one. It's kind of purple. And the day hairbrush. I wanted to get their dry shampoo so bad, but they were out. Glossier eye cream. I need more eye creams and I love Glossier. Whoa. Of course, more of my favorite Peter Thomas Roth eye patches. Laneige Blue Water Bank Cream. In the full size. When Stefani's mascara. I love her. Looks really cool. Hourglass lip liner. I needed. Are we ready? The Milk Jelly Blushes. I'll try them out in my next Get Ready With Me. I'll see you guys in my next one. Let's do a full face of She Glam makeup. It's normally very affordable, but let's see if the quality is up to par. I'm gonna go in with this moisturizer. This is supposed to be a moisturizer and a primer. It goes on really smooth and it feels really hydrating. Now for foundation, we're gonna use this Skinfluencer Foundation Balm. It's actually been quite a minute I've used this foundation, but from what I remember, it's really, really pigmented. I mean, just look at the difference between this side and this side. I would definitely say this is the perfect foundation if you have a lot of discoloration. Now for concealer, I'm gonna try out this Complexion Boost Concealer. Now, I've never tried out this concealer before, but let's hope the shade is perfect. So I'm just doing this to hide discoloration. Okay, this is blending out so well, and it's giving a lot of coverage. Now, I was most excited about these blushes. This is the shade On Point, which is a bright pink shade. So I'm gonna go with this shade and apply it just look at how easy it blends so i'm gonna try out the insta ready powder it comes with a compact powder and then it also comes with a loose powder so i'm gonna use both powders i'm gonna use the compact powder on this side and this is a pink powder so it's supposed to brighten up your under eyes then on this other half of my face i'm gonna use the loose powder i'm just gonna swirl that at the back of my hand first to even it out and then i'm gonna apply that now this one looks like it's absorbed absorbing more oils than this one. Now I normally like a matte look, so I'm just gonna use a matte on this side as well. All right, so now we're gonna go in with this lipstick in the shade High Key. And this is more of a matte lipstick. Okay, it feels very velvety. This is really smooth. Honestly, these products by She Glam are definitely worth it. I mean, the fact that they're affordable is just insane. Adivinen, fui a Sephora por tercera vez este viaje Me gasté más de 200 dólares Pero hice Curl Math y me terminé comprando como 8 cosas Pero esta vez vamos a incluir precio Finalmente conseguí el Secure the Sweat He ido a otras Sephora y ninguno lo he encontrado Este básicamente es un primer de one size Que es a prueba de sudor Por más que sudes, tu maquillaje no se te va a mover Y yo que vivo en un país caliente Esto costó 32,33 Me compré el bálsamo de labios de la Neige Pero no me gusta el de potecito Así que compré este que viene como en un tubito Este costó 18 dólares Mi primer product de patch esta es la colección de fin de año No sé si es limited edition o la grande de los labios Tono full syringe Y esto costó 26 dólares Me compré esta base en polvo de Fenty Básicamente un polvo pero con mucha cobertura 40 dólares Me salió en 28.51 Básicamente esta vez quería comprar dos primers Porque mis dos favoritos El Power Grip y Coreless Beauty Primer de Elf Los dos me han sacado cinco espinillas en la cara con el Halo Glow Y me compré el Always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer de Rare Beauty Costó 15 dólares Vamos a probar geles de cejas nuevas Me compré este a 9 dólares Es mini pero me pareció buen precio De Glossier me compré un delineador en el tono lápiz Y es como azul vibrante Porque me dijeron que se ve muy bonito aquí abajo Así que me compré uno Y me compré otro en el tono rococo Que es como un rojito morado Que también es muy bonito en los ojos chocolates Y costaron 16 dólares cada uno Fui a Sephora hace como una semana y media Y me compré por fin uno de los bomb.coms Y se me perdió Así que compré otro pero compré el tono lavender Que me pareció súper lindo Me compré este este el de Janeiro, tengo el rosado y tengo el de pistacho, pero este me mató porque literalmente huele a protector solar. Me cuesta 24, pero me costó 22. Por cierto, todos esos descuentos son gracias a los puntos de Sephora que tenía acumulados. Esto no me lo compré yo, pero igual lo voy a mostrar. Este aceite de Jisoo, yo tengo dos, es muy bueno. Este es Color Walk, que es un root cover up. Hey guys, welcome to my Sephora haul. <laughs> I got four of these items last week, but I want to show you now. So I got two Patrick Ta blushes because they're finally back in store because you bitches are greedy. You're greedy. But I got them in this shade. She's a doll and she's blushing. 
Then I got this Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Banana Bread. I think that's what it's called. Sugar Cookie. Not Banana Bread. Banana Bread's like yellow. But I wanted to see how beautiful it made me. Once I get tan, just wait. Let me cook. And this is all over my For You page. This is like, oh, but it looks really cool. This is the Secure the Glow primer for one size. Everyone is either saying it's really good or it's really ass. I'll try it out in a future video. Then I got the Bronzing Sculpt Trio. One size in the shade Medium Dark. Look at, look at that. Look at how beautiful. Look at how pretty. I'm so excited to use it. I'm such a bronzer girly. Fuck off! Then I got this contour by Makeup by Mario in the shade Medium Dark. Uh, can you? Can you? Save your money. Don't get the sticks because you are literally doing a 50-50% chance that it will not work and you're spending $32 on it. A little piece of advice. <laughs> Shit. This is the Makeup Melt Bomb by Pharmacy. I'm so excited. It's all over my For You page and I want to make like those reddit story times i want to do them because i watched them for like four hours straight so i really want to do them look at look at it look at it so next i got the one size trio blush set i'm so excited that i have this one because it's their newly released one it's called attention seeker and i have the doll one but this one is I just very pretty you like it yeah. do you want them no <laughs> so next i got the charlotte tilbury under eye brightener in shade medium the applicator this is the last one the charlotte tilbury magic eye rescue if you guys have been here for a while, you guys know that I am a Charlotte Tilbury lover. Sadly, yes. Yeah. Okay, bye. Hi, guys. I have another Sephora haul. First thing I got is something that I feel like everyone has, yet I'm so late to try it. I got the mini size of the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this product. Like, some say that it makes their makeup last, like, two seconds, and some say it makes it last for, like, a whole day. But honestly, I'm looking for a more dewy finish to my makeup because I used to use the one size powder, but I recently ran out and I wanted to try something new. So let me know what you guys think of this. Next thing I got is a restock of my favorite serum, the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum, obviously. I had to get the jumbo size of this. This is the one that I've had for like almost a year and it's been a long journey, but I absolutely love it look at the size difference and there was only a three dollar price difference next thing i got was a little bit of an impulsive purchase i've been recently obsessed with buying a bunch of cream bronzers so i got the fenty one one thing that i hate about bronzers is that they always end up looking really yellow or orange but i got this in the contouring shade that they have so hopefully it doesn't look too warm on me but i heard that this bronzer itself is just such a good formula so I'm really excited to try it out. And every Fenty product is literally so good anyways. Next, I got the mini Patrick Ta eyebrow gel. I've been really loving my Kosas one recently, but instead of restocking, I always decide to try something new out. I hate a brow gel that is like way too tacky and like sticks to my face. So hopefully this one doesn't do that, but I literally love the packaging. I'm so excited to try this out. Next thing I got, I already opened. Katie Fang influenced me to get this because... Every time she uses it, I'm like, her skin just looks so good and so plump and dewy. Yes, this was expensive, but I hope that it's worth it. Let me know your opinions on these products. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So I went to Sephora today and I got some stuff. This is going to be a very, very mini haul, but I still wanted to give y'all a haul because I'm excited. Okay, so the first thing I got is the Super Goop Glow Screen. Actually, in my video that I'm posting tomorrow, I was just talking about this product and like asking if it was good or not, but I went to Sephora today and so I wanted to try, try it out. I've been debating it, but I got the Glow one instead of the Unseen just so I could like put it under makeup and stuff. Then my friend Stephanie uses this moisturizer all the time and she says it's super good. So I saw this in the little mini section. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get it. So this is the Glow Recipe Plum Plum Hyaluronic Cream Dewy Moisture and Plump. Just like a moisturizer. Let's smell it. I literally honestly have no idea. Uh, hold on. Okay, this is what it looks like, but... Okay, it doesn't have a scent. <laughs> it literally does not have a scent. But we're going to use what's left over. It's very light, I feel like. Yeah, it's very, very thin. But so far, so good. I'll have to, like, try it out whenever I do, like, my actual skincare. But the next thing I got, I got this Kosas Concealer. Adesia has been using this one for a really long time now. And I wanted to try it. But I just never saw the minis of it. So today when I saw the minis, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it so I can try it out. So this is the shade 1.5. It's supposed to be like, it's a light with pink undertones. So I really hope this is like a good shade for me. It actually looks a little bit dark, but 
we will try it out. But yeah, that is my little haul. Literally only got three little minis, but I love the minis. I'm a whore for minis. I spent $254 at Sephora. Let's see what I got. First bag. There's no better feeling than going to Sephora and unboxing all of your goodies. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I've been wanting to try this out for months and months and months. It is acne safe, so that is what led me to buy it. The smaller size because I was already spending so much money, but oh, it sets for up to 16 hours. Ooh, it smells so good. Love that. I got three lip products. I absolutely love lip products. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in the shade 2 medium. This one because it's a little bit darker than the original. So let's see if we like this one. Oh yeah. This might be my new favorite color. This is so pretty. Obsessed. Then I also got the Fenty Heat Lip Gloss. I am in love with this product. This is my second time purchasing it. This is one of my holy grails. It smells so good. This is the best lip gloss in the entire world. It has that plumping effect, which is just everything I need. Third lip product is this Holy Henriksen. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I wanted to get the other shade, but they were sold out. They were sold out of a lot of stuff at Sephora. I'll be scouring them shelves. It's like actually crazy. It's a little dark. It's still so pretty. Mm, it's, it's so moisturizing, but it looks like you're wearing lip gloss, but it's not sticky. I'm actually living for this color. Next, Tom Ford Shimmering Body Oil. Tell me that is not the most beautiful product you've ever seen in your entire life. This summer with a tan, it's gonna be over for everybody. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, look at that shine. Wow, this is one of my favorite products from this haul. Things I got are both from Patrick Ta. I actually got these for my mom. The Patrick Ta Major Dimension Number no. Three, and then the blush in She's Flushed. And it also has eyeliner right here. And the blush in She's Flushed. This, in my opinion, is the most perfect blush color. It just goes with everyone's skin tone. Let me know if you have any of these products and what you think. Bye. On découvre ensemble les cadeaux Sephora Gold des champs Élysées. Déjà, on va commencer par les cadeaux qui n'étaient pas dans le sac Gold, mais les cadeaux qu'on pouvait avoir si on achetait chez les marques. Par exemple, chez Art Beauty, à partir de 30 euros d'achat, on avait le droit aux petites pinces à cheveux comme ça. Et 60 euros d'achat, il y avait le droit à une trousse et les pinces. Et du coup, moi, j'ai eu les petites pinces et un mascara. Ça, en gros, c'est des cadeaux qu'il fallait aller récupérer une fois qu'on avait payé en caisse. Il fallait retourner au stand voir la vendeuse qui nous avait conseillé et lui dire « c'est bon, j'ai payé, euh, passe les cadeaux ». Ensuite, chez Fenty, j'ai eu une petite trousse comme ça, un gommage euh, pour le visage et un mascara. On va passer à vraiment ce qu'il y avait à l'intérieur du sac, donc euh, le sac gold qu'on devait avoir. Déjà, il y a eu une petite trousse Guerlain, deux petites crèmes euh, Sol de Janeiro de la nouvelle euh, senteur, un masque pour les lèvres full size de chez La Neige, le parfum en 10 ml, donc un c'est Narciso Rodriguez et l'autre c'est le Kayali Vanilla. Je suis trop contente parce que le Kayali c'est mon préféré euh, à la vanille et en plus de ça il me semble que le 10 ml à lui tout seul il coûte 30 euros. Donc en vrai je suis super contente. Ensuite il y a eu un blush en grand format de chez Ilia et franchement la couleur elle est super belle. Un traitement de chez Kerastase, nettoyant Fenty Skin, geler les secrets de Loli, un enlumineur à lèvres de chez Fenty, crème pour les mains Clarins, une petite crème visage en 15 ml de chez Shiseido, évidemment des masques pour le visage de chez Sephora sinon ce ne serait pas euh, des cadeaux gold. Miniature donc euh, Rare Beauty c'est un lip oil et euh, Benefit c'est une euh, cire à sourcils. Il y a des petites miniatures, donc Dermalogica et euh, Herborian, comme ça. Un blush de chez Nars et euh, une huile à cheveux de chez Moroccan Oil. Voilà, et après, on a le tote bag, euh, du coup, euh, forcément, euh, champs Élysées. Mais euh, voilà, en vrai, c'est pas mal. Et surtout, ce qui était bien, c'est que à chaque stand, après, on pouvait quand même repartir avec des cadeaux d'office si on achetait chez les stands. Donc ça, je pense que ça rajoutait un petit plus. C'est vrai que d'habitude, ils le font pas trop, trop forcément. Donc là, c'était cool. Donc voilà, bisous Всем привет, как ваши дела? Это обзор на мои покупочки с Дионой. И плюс я хочу показать свои снеки, которые я купила также в магазине, потому что я купила их довольно-таки много. Так, первое, что я купила, это вот такие вот бегудишки. Я очень часто видела видео в ТикТоке, где на носочки, знаете, делают укладку. Я хочу ее попробовать, так как, ну, мне показалось, что она подойдет к моей структуре волос. И плюс я не хочу утюжком постоянно свои волосы портить, так они у меня уже испорчены. Вот, поэтому выбрала сейф вариант. Далее у меня идет тушь Sky High от Maybelline. Я ее до этого пользовалась. И знаете, несколько дней назад я купила себе от телескопик, но она мне не понравилась. Я не знаю почему, поэтому я решила купить эту и вот эту отдать маме. Ну посмотрим, я буду их чередовать и может быть еще сниму видео для сравнения. 
Следующее у меня идет шампунь Пантин. У меня просто шампунь тот мой, вообще рандомный, его мама купила. Он мне не подходит, у меня от него перхоть, а от Пантин у меня никогда не бывает перхоти, поэтому я его купила. А это у меня посылка с Китая. Посмотрите, какой милый чехол. Офигеть. Он прям такой мягенький, и здесь эти кролики. Гайс, он длиняет. Он длиняет еще на мою кофточку. Теперь время для моих снеков. Так, я купила бельвиту, так как она мне очень нравится. И плюс я одну штучку возьму и остальное отдам братьям. Это просто мое самое любимое, наверное, молоко от чуда. Я стала зависима от него, потому что оно супер вкусное, супер классное. Я живу ради этого молока. Я его обожаю просто. Следующее, это у нас фэнсы от Чупа Чупс, вообще самые любимые. Я их оставлю, положу себе полку на худшие времена, если мне понадобится эта штучка. И последнее, это барни, чтобы пить с молоком и смотреть дораму. Вот. Надеюсь, вам всем понравилось это видео, всем спасибо, всем пока! Кстати, у меня еще укладка моя, такая красивая сегодня, не могу. My Christmas money did not last at all, so let's do a Sephora and Ulta haul. From Sephora, I literally only got one thing, and I am so proud because I contained myself, and I also had a gift card, so this was basically free. I got the new Sol de Janeiro body butter in the scent Delicia Drench. I think the, like, number is, like, 60... Nine or something like that. I'm not sure. They're coming out with a body spray, though, and I will be getting that because this scent smells so good. Like... It's basically their 62 spray, but a little less intense, and I am obsessed with that. It kind of also smells like Tree Hut Sweet Cream. Not exactly, and very much more similar to the 62 of Sol de Janeiro, but I smell hints of sweet cream in there. So if you know what I'm talking about and you're obsessed with that, you probably will like the scent of this because it just smells so good. And if anybody knows what people are talking about with the spiders in this lotion, that's kind of random, but like what is going on with the spiders on this lotion? Am I going to come home after I eat dinner and there's spiders in my lotion? Also was a little bit of a different story because I kind of got sucked into the lip product category. I will be doing a review of all the new lip products that came out because I've bought them all and I'm gonna show you guys my opinions on them. Since I'm doing that though, I had to get the new little Too Faced Kissing Jelly Glosses. I didn't have to, but I really wanted these anyways. I got three shades. I got Raspberry, Grape Soda, and then Bubblegum, and I am obsessed with these already. I'm already gonna spoil the review. Literally so obsessed with these. The colors are so pretty on. I have Bubblegum and Raspberry mixed on my lips, and they're such a good formula. They're not like too too thick but they're also not too thin so they moisturize but they don't feel sticky at all they're so comfortable and they taste good so I'm so excited i got these and i want to get the rest of them the next thing i got from ulta is this nyx fat oil slick click lip thing i already have these i just wanted this shade and the first time i went to ulta they were sold out of this but now they had it and i'm so excited it's the shade d in me i can't wait to give my review on these and to give my review on all the new lip products that have dropped because i literally bought them from maybelline nyx too faced i think some other brand too so just stay tuned because it's gonna be a fire review last thing i got from ulta is also justifiable because it's kind of like a necessity but this is the deodorant i use and i saw that they had this one and it's the same thing but this packaging is very different so i was like what's the difference this is aluminum free this one isn't i don't know what the difference is like i don't know what aluminum does but i'm gonna try it out and let you know if i like it i hate this deodorant though like it's a good deodorant but why does it crumble like in the I don't know. I hate the packaging is what I mean. I like the product, but I'm just excited to test this out and hopefully it won't do that in this one, even though the packaging looks exactly the same. Minus. That's my haul. I'm probably going to place an online order, so stay tuned. I love you guys. Bye. I'm the mom that took their 10-year-olds to Sephora. Two respectful 10-year-olds. Girls had fun, spent their own money, were respectful, and I actually had no idea that there was drama around Sephora. It just happened to be what I posted that day, but those are not our girls. Our girls would never. And if you haven't watched both videos, then maybe do that before you comment something negative. For the cool people that want to see a haul, we are going to do a Sephora haul of what we got. Blair, would you like to show what you got at Sephora? Sure. Okay. First, I got... How do you pronounce that? Jizu? <laughs> I don't know. It's a honey-infused lip oil. Oh no. Lip oil. Oh no. But they were out of stock of the one I wanted, so I just got the other one that they sell. 
And I don't see a difference, so. This is? Uh, a bronzer. A yeah. bronzer. Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. It is their Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow bronzer. How often do you wear makeup? Not often. Not often. This is just for fun. It's so pretty that I don't it. Is it is really pretty. <laughs> And then I already ruined this one because I was really excited to try it. <laughs> it's the contour from Charlotte Tilbury. Same brand I got like all this stuff. Look at the applicator, it's so cool, but I destroyed it. How did you destroy it? It obviously gets dirty when you use it. But it's so sad. Then I got this powder from Charlotte Tilbury again. This is their airbrush flawless flawless finish. Everybody always finishes off with that, so I figured it was probably powder. important. Whose videos do you watch? Um, with Nelson's. They do makeup? Oh, that's where you learn? Sometimes. Oh, well, yeah. Last, but not okay. least. How do you say? Say, I think. Say. So you said it already, technically. Oh. How do you say? <laughs> say. Um, it's concealer in PB one and a half. I don't know we did use the either. testers for this one. Very respectfully. Yeah. What do you do with that? Put it under my eyes when I'm bored, I guess. I don't know. I ended up getting the NARS Longwear Foundation in Silk Use, which I haven't used this stuff in a while, but I needed something that was for like, like <laughs> going out or pictures or whatever. So that's our Sephora haul. Do you need to wear makeup? Yeah, it's just fun. Yes, it's just fun. That's what she does. Not into Claire's. Her money spent makes her happy. So, there's our support haul. If you want to see more of my terrible parenting, just let me know. Bye. I'm doing a shopping haul. I'm not going to show you the front, obviously, because my dress on it. But I'm actually so excited because it's from Sephora. And oh my god, I'll open it on my back. Just realised there's like a strip thing, so I'm just gonna first try buzzing. Are you ready? Ooh, what's this? So our first thing we were at the top of the thing was these two like samples. So I got an egg example, a sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Soft Focus Beautiful Primer. I think it's the primer, yeah, like a little pod of it. Then this. I think it's perfume, but I've never heard of the brand. I'm going to open it and see what it smells like. Just one minute. I can smell it from the top. It's leech in the bag, but I don't know how I feel. Anyway, let's get on to the actual box. I'm so excited. So, first thing was this Positive Highlighter Silk Touch from Rare Beauty. Oh my god, I'm so happy. In the shade Mesmerise. One minute, I can't open it. Why can't I open it? Wait. Oh my god. So cute. How cute is that? I'm going to put a bit on my nose. Wait. That's a bit. Oh, that's really shiny. So pretty. Oh my god. The next is a Rare Beauty blush in the shade Believe. And I've been wanting like a neutral blush and oh my god, it packed out. That is so adorable. Oh my god. Then I've been wanting a lip tint. So like my friend had this um, Benefit one. So I just got it. Oh my god. I can't wait to use it. I keep saying oh my god. Because like I'm actually so happy I've managed to get the things I wanted with my birthday money. I don't really think there's a shade either, but that's what it looks like anyway. And then I've said the best or last, Charlotte Tilbury wand, blush wand. Can't believe I've actually managed to get my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury product, but oh my god, that is so cute. I can't even open it. How do you work it? Wait. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh my god. Anyway, just wanted to see the colour. But then my mum also ordered some stuff from other places as well. So I got the um, Glow Recipe Dew Drops, the watermelon dew drops. And I'm still waiting on the toner. I did order it, but it's not coming yet. And then the Amelia Olivia Setting Spray. 
Then I went to town today, so I got these two sets from Primark. How cute from the kids section. And then this tinted moisturizer, that's the end. Bye. Hey, this is actually like really cool. Um, guys, I just got so many packages in the mail and I have no idea what's in any of them. I'm gonna start with this one because it's literally like already ripped open. I don't wanna dump it out because I have no idea if the stuff is like fragile or not, but I'm just gonna start. Okay, this is literally broken, but this is like a heart light. Um, I don't know what this is. It's a poster that says he sees you when you're pooping. Um, this K light that I'm probably just gonna give to my sister because it's a K in her. That's what her name starts with. I'm not sure what this is, but this. This is, um, oh, wait, it's like all the aura things. Um, it's another one of these things, but it says like dad on it. And this is the same thing that says mom on it. This is another, I think it's another heart thing. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Um, this is like a clear container holder thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is like a sunset lamp thing. I actually just couldn't tell you what this is, but yeah. Um, I got this like pink jewelry holder. It's actually nice and it holds like jewelry in it. And there's also a B of this light, so perfect because my name's real. Um, lights. An LED sign that says bussin' on it. And this neon sign says good vibes. Another one of these things, but it's in blue. Um, I got these like container thingies. Yeah. This is like a shower caddy thing. And I have no idea what this is. Okay, moving on to the second bag. I want to say that this feels like Christmas, but this is such like random stuff. They literally put a bag in a bag. Like, what was the point of that? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is like an organizer. It's actually like cute. Um, I think this is like a blanket. Oh my god, wait. We have another neon sign, but this one says girl boss. Um, we got some Christmas decorations. Um, I got a nice little ring light. Oh my gosh. Another sign that's like a gaming thing. This is another poster, I'm guessing. And wait. It says like family. Yeah. Um, these little circle stick on mirrors. Um, I got some LED lights. Unboxing stuff. I still have no idea what's in any of these, but we're just gonna open. This is a portable charger, but it is so heavy, and I don't think it's from Timu. Okay, this package is a lot lighter, but I don't know what's in it. It's another freaking portable charger. Okay, this is, isn't a portable charger. Okay, this looks like a makeup bag. It's a makeup bag with, like, an LED light in it. That's actually so cool. Wait, this is actually, like, really cool. Wow. Okay, this package is a very big. Like, I still have no idea what's in any of these. Oh, my gosh. This is, like, a digital picture frame. Oh, my gosh. It's basically just this picture frame. And you can, like, put pictures up. Like, wow. I hope you guys all enjoyed this haul because this is what my room looks like now. An absolute disaster. Thank you so much to all these companies that sent me stuff. I'm so grateful. And, yeah. Bye, guys. This is embarrassing. Like, actually. So I walked into Sephora for two things, a new face wash and the Summer Friday's new mint lip balm or whatever, and I left with a little bit more than that. And so did not leave with the lip balm, and that was like the one thing that I really wanted, so yeah. I'm Anyways, let's do a haul. So the first thing I got is the face wash, the one thing that I actually came for that I needed, and I just ran out of this. This is my third time going to refill this face wash, and when I tell you guys, like, it is the best face wash ever. Like, this is what it looks like, the rice wash. I think I've showed it in a haul before, but it is so good. And I'm like super acne prone and this actually clears my acne like so quick. And every time I stop using it, I break out. So I swear by this stuff. And then the next thing I got is the Olaplex number no. 4P. It's just like the toning shampoo for blonde hair it's because our water sucks and my hair is getting gross. So I really needed that. Okay, and then the next thing I got is from Glow Recipe, and it's the Avocado Recovery Serum. And this is really good for, like, redness, I think. I haven't really seen very many people use it, but I have very sensitive skin. And so I thought that this would be good for, like, redness and just, like, overall, like, skin barrier. And I have had, like, really bad acne in the past. Okay, and then the next thing I got is the Brazilian Bum Bum. It's, like, the glow oil. And this I've actually seen a lot all over. And I've always wanted it. I just, like, never actually ended up buying it. But this time I bought it. 
And it, I don't know, I just feel like it's really good for, like, you know when your chest is, like, paler than your face when you, like, do a full face of makeup? Because that happens to me, so I don't know if anyone relates, but also will not go back in the box. And you can, like, put it on, like, your arms and stuff if you're feeling pale. And Okay, then the next thing I got is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Highlighter, and I, in the shade Exhilarate. And it is literally so pretty. What the packaging looks like, and it's so pretty. This is what it looks like. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't have any powder highlights, so I think that this would be a good, like, over, like, a cream highlighter just to, like, set it. I think that's what I'm imagining in my head, so, yeah. And then the next thing I got, everyone has, it's the Pillow Talk Lip Liner by Charlotte Tilbury. But, yeah, so, this is just a really good, it's like a nude shade. This is, like, the color, sort of. It's, like, not too dark, not too light, but it's kind of, like, a more natural one. And then the last thing that I got is the YSL Candy Glaze, and I got it in the shade Flashing Rose. And I've seen this, like, all over TikTok, so I had to get it. And this is what it... Oh, this is what it looks like, super pretty, and this is the shade. And then you just like put it on a little bit. And I would say I probably wouldn't wear this on like the, actually it could be good for like a daily color, but mix between a lipstick and a lip gloss. And so, yeah. Really trying to justify what I just did. Definitely did a little bit of damage, but you know, girl math, right? Like if you use this every day, it's like $1, right? I don't know. <laughs> but okay, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. As someone who spends thousands on Sephora, here's my non-biased opinion of what I think is worth ordering for the sale. I spent one hour really narrowing down what I think deserves to be in this video. Let's begin. Number one, this cream bronzer does not compare to anything else. It blends out like a dream. It's never splotchy. I grab for it every single time. Number two is my trusty eyelash curler. Shuchetto is maybe how you pronounce it. it. Gives you the best curl ever and the curl lasts so long. I used to use the Revlon one, but after trying this one out, I have not gone back to that one. This is so worth it. This nose contour brush from Patrick Ta is insane. It's the perfect shape to get your nose super snatched. And I love using this side for the powder bronzer on top to kind of help blend it. I've never found another brush this shape. It's actually perfect. This might be basic. But that doesn't mean it's not good. This Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray will have your makeup stay the whole entire time. Whether you're wearing it during the day, at night, or I go on trips where it's super hot out if I'm sweating a lot, my makeup will still stay in place because of this spray. Even have the travel size. I freaking love this stuff. Huda Beauty Loose Baking Powder. I don't know what I did without this it actually makes it look like there's a filter on your face. Actually, if you're using it with like a little powder puff like this, I use the shade Cupcake. If I'm doing my makeup, I'm always gonna use this product. This House Labs concealer needs its moment. I used to use the Hourglass one, which I do still love. Something about this formula is so creamy, so amazing to blend out. I just find myself always grabbing for this one and it never does me wrong. We have another brush. This is the Tarte Foundation Brush and ever since I got this, I cannot stop grabbing for it. The way it just blends your foundation together is so seamless. There's brushes similar to this, but the way the bristles are, just the way it's made makes it different from all the other ones. Like, this is so random, but, like, it's so good and worth it. Again, with another basic spray. I know I said this with the Urban Decay one. Like, if it's basic, that means it's popular, and that means it's probably good. The past few months, I've been spraying this on my face, like, before I do anything else for the day. I also have it in the travel size, of course. Not only do I feel like it prevents breakouts, but it just makes me feel cleaner, if that makes sense. If I don't spray this on my face before I do moisturizer or anything else, I feel like I have to take all of that off just so I can spray this first. I love this stuff. To my favorite powdered bronzer. Okay, I love the Benefit Hula one, but ever since I used this, I just haven't gone back to the Benefit one. It's just so smooth and it looks like your skin is airbrushed. Word airbrush is literally in the name of this as well, which makes so much sense. I just don't think I'm ever gonna find another powdered bronzer that blends like this one, looks better than this one. So many shades to choose from too. I just love this so much. Onto a lip product, which you guys know I'm very serious about. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Chi Lip Liner. I have a theory about this. People say that that these aren't that creamy. I do agree with that statement, but because it's not creamy, it's like less wet, so it's less likely to smear, if that makes sense. Because once I put my lip oil on on top of it, it's like the most perfect thing ever. I think everybody needs this lip liner in their collection. I love it so much. Okay, we have another basic one, but if you're gonna get a lip balm, just get the Summer Fridays. It's hydrating, it's smooth, they smell good, they taste good. There's so many different shades. It's literally $24, like you're gonna love it. Of course, I'm wearing it right now. I literally wear these every single day in all my videos.
video. Let's get it for the sale. Who cares if it's basic? It's good. Last product, and I've probably been using this one for the longest besides the Urban Decay setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. Same concept with their powder bronzer than I talked about earlier. It's so smooth. It's so seamless. I love it so much, especially if you're using one of the triangle powder puffs. Like, your skin looks like it has a filter on it. Super similar to the Huda Beauty one I talked about. It's a pressed powder instead of this being a loose powder. I actually set my face with this one first, then I spray my setting spray on, and then I'll go in with pressed powder on top, and then it looks like you have a smoothing filter on your face. I personally think you should get both of these together to use because this duo is unstoppable. And for the Charlotte Tilbury one, I get shade 2 medium. No, this was a lot. I believe it was like 10 products I just talked about. But I have and spend so much money on makeup that I just know what is good and what's not. I hope this helped you guys for the Sephora sale. Again, this is my non-biased opinion. I'm not getting paid to say any of this. I just really think that these 12 products are the best ones to order for the sale. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Let's do a massive birthday haul. So as you guys can see, I have all my birthday presents back here. And of course, I'm so, so grateful and so, so thankful. But no one wants to hear me yap about that. So let's get into the haul. All right, so I'm going to start with my small gifts and then work my way up to my big gifts. So to start out, I got these two packs of hair clips. I got a bunch of new highlighters because I love to make like my notes all pretty. And I got this AirPod case. Okay, so that was all of the little like random tiny gifts I got. And now I'm going to do skincare, hair, and makeup. Okay, so the first thing is this Not Your Mother's Leave-In Conditioner. And in the first Sephora bag... I have the birthday gift I picked out, which is the Charlotte Tilbury one, and I did order that online, but I'm just going to throw it in here. And then the next thing I have is this Patrick Ta blush in She's That Girl. The next thing in here is the Summer Fridays Lip Oil. I'm so excited to try this. In the next Sephora bag, I got the Refi Beauty Lip Oil in the shade Clear. And I got the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in number one. And then in the last Sephora bag, I got the Way Mini Detox Shampoo. I got a mini hair oil. I've heard really good things about that. I got the mini Hula Bronzer. And the last thing is I got the Summer Fridays Lip Balm. Now I'm going to move on to clothes. First, I got this black white fox shirt, and I did wear it once, so that's why the tag is off. Then I got these airy sweatpants. Here they are. They're just gray. Then I got this blue sweatshirt from Altered State. Here it is. I thought this was so freaking cute. Then I got another sweatshirt from White Fox, and I already wore this too because it's been kind of a while since my birthday. I was trying to wait for all the stuff to come in before I did my haul, but oh well. And then the last piece of clothes I got was this Alfred Eden hoodie. Here it is, and this is literally adorable. All right, now I'm going to move on to all of my big gifts. All right, first up is from Kate Spade, and here it is. It's jewelry. It's in this little bag, and it is literally so cute. I cannot get it open. Here it is. I got a Kate Spade bracelet. This is gorgeous. Next, I got some new Nikes. I got these black and white ones. The next big gift I got, this is a vanity. It is obviously not set up yet, but I'll make a video when I set it up. And the last big gift I got, it has not come in yet. This is kind of what I was waiting for to come in, but it hasn't yet. And I really wanted to film this video, but I ordered the iPhone 15 Pro in the silver color and it should be here within the next like few days. So I'm going to make a video on this too. I know this video is getting super, super long, but stay with me. There's only a couple more things I need to get through. And now I'm going to show you all the jewelry I got. All right, first up from Francesca's, I got this E bracelet and then these basic gold earrings. From American Eagle, I got another pack of earrings. I got this bracelet. And then from Kendra Scott, I got two things. In the first bag, I got a ring. It's, oh, it's just like the gold one I got for Christmas if you saw my Christmas haul, but instead it's in silver. And then in the second bag, I got a bracelet, which I already wore, so I did take the tag off of it, but it is the little gold heart bracelet, and I have the heart necklace that matches it. This is literally the cutest thing ever. And the last two things I got are this blanket and this purple Yeti. 
All right, but that is all for the birthday haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And again, I am so, so grateful and so, so thankful for every single thing I got. But I hope you enjoyed this and that's all. Bye. Love you guys. Let's do a Timu makeup haul because I got two bags worth of stuff. Okay, let's start with bag number one. We're just gonna be pulling a randomly. This makeup pops off, okay? Sephora and Ulta have been really quiet since I ordered this, okay? First thing that we have is this little primer. It's like a pore photo primer. I have not tried this one. I've tried the other primer that I got, but I've not tried this one yet. So that is the first thing that we got. And then we got this eyebrow pomade, which it on today it actually is pretty freaking good okay then i got this little like um blush palette it's from the brand called miss rose and it just comes with a bunch of different blushes i love blushes literally love blushes i have probably 50 um so i got this palette look it's cute and there's like a little donut or whatever like so cute then i got is this eyebrow pencil right here i have not tried it yet but i'm really excited it looks it's giving very much like abh Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil, except for this is like $2. I also want to say like all of this makeup is like $1 to $2. It's crazy. I actually did my entire face with all of this makeup and girl, do you see how beautiful and gorgeous this is? I filmed an entire YouTube video, so go watch that YouTube video if you have not seen it already. Filmed an entire face on the, I look flawless. I look, I look amazing. Next thing that we got are these concealers, these little liquid concealers from the brand called Novo, which are actually really freaking good. And then right here, this is a little mascara. It's like a bottom lash mascara. It's actually really, really cute. I've not tried it, but look at how tiny the wand is. Look. Like, that is so cute. That little tiny wand. That is so cute. It is this little, like, um, makeup setting powder or whatever. Just looks like this. I got this from the brand called Pop Feel, and it's basically just like a little mini contour palette, and actually kind of rocks. It's really small. I thought it was gonna be like a lot larger, but just like a little contour palette. This blush I've not tried, but it is so freaking pretty. This is the CDE Smart Smart. Apparently, I'm not smart. Smart Girl Reading Blush. It is gorgeous. Oh, look at this packaging. It is so freaking pretty. And then look at this. Look at how stunning that is. I have not used it, but I literally cannot wait to use it. But I have, I got another powder. And then this is, oh my God, this lip oil is so good. This is one of my favorite lip oils. Literally like a $2 lip oil. And it's so freaking good. I'm like Dior who, literally. I literally have the lip oil on today. Like $2. The next two things that we have is, oh my god, this set of lip liners, I actually used one of them today. Like, when I tell you my combo cost $2 and it looks like it cost $40, $2. And then this right here, oh my god, this is so exciting. So, this is a contour wand like Charlotte Tilbury, except for this is $2. And it's actually good. Like, full on a contour wand. $2. It's actually crazy. Okay, then that's like, we still got a decent amount to go, girl. This right here is a uh, eyeshadow palette, but it looks very similar to the Natasha Denona one. It's like a Natasha Denona dupe, you know? You guys are gonna see, it is gorgeous. This palette was like $6 or something like that. Ah, like, are you kidding me? It's so beautiful and so pigmented. This right here is the prettiest highlight I've ever seen in my entire life. I did not use it today because I feel like it deserves its own video. So get ready for this. It deserves its own video. It's so freaking pretty. I showed it in the YouTube video. Should I show you guys? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? It, this right here is, what the heck is this? This is a multi-chrome stick. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's like a little like contour stick or something. It looks like. Okay, how many more things do we have in this one? Oh my god, so this is what I'm really excited for. This might be looking familiar. Miss Carla's Secret, okay. I was really excited for this. Like, this was, like, actually, like, what, like, sparked the entire order is when I saw this. This looks like, again, the Makeup Forever little blush palette, but it's not. This was $5, and the Makeup Forever blush palette is, like, 60 or something like that. Um, it is so gorgeous. I accidentally stuck my finger in it, so there is a little marking right there, but are you kidding me? It is stunning. I have a couple more things in this bag. This is a uh, sweet mint eyeshadow, and it's basically just like a bunch of like 
cool toned -y type of colors i really like cool toned on my blue eyes oh my god this i'm so freaking excited for especially because it's summertime this is a body illuminator you know like those like that everyone puts in their like i didn't wear it today or try it today um but yeah i also got another shade so it's in that bag like a lighter one and i got another one as well and then i got the prettiest brush for it it's not in this bag it's actually in that bag so you're just gonna have to wait okay i got this um mascara just like a little pink type of mascara this is another primer i did try this little primer it made like a nice like nice tacky base but i thought it was gonna be a little bit more thicker than it was it was definitely more thinner watery consistency so got a bunch of these like you know like these powder puffs that everyone uses i typically get them off of amazon but there was like a pack of like 10 for like one dollar okay so two more things this is what the heck is this oh this is another eyeshadow palette i don't know what this one looks like let's see oh this one's pretty okay the cool tone vibe look at how pretty that is like a night out oh hell yeah girl oh this is a blush this is from the brand called that and this blush is so freaking pretty and they're so tiny i got another blush um from this brand as well but it's in the other bag like look at how stunning this is I put it on today and it was like one dollar like i could literally fit it in my you wouldn't even know i could go to the club like this you wouldn't even know there's a blush in my titty you don't even know there's a blush in my titty bag number one empty bag number two let's go